Mr. Chairman, now I move to cite in contempt Captain Albotra for lying in this committee in violation of Section 11, Paragraph C of our rules. So move it, Mr. Chairman. What is your intention in giving the complete account of your whereabouts? Mr. Mr. Chair, Madam, uh, kasi po, Mr. Chair, wala pong ibang uh, maaring dahilan kung bakit lumabas po yung chismis na yun, kundi yung short assignment ko po sa uh, Kalamba Laguna na nanalify na nga po, Madam. Kaya po, hinalungkat ko po kung saan ako ng mga times na yun, uh, based po doon sa plane ticket ko, at saka yung normal na proseso po ng, ng police na nagka, nagkukorti si Cole until such time po na may order and uh, kung doon ko po na ano madam yung, yung mga tickets ko po doon ko po na, na recover ma'am Major, you also mentioned about your plane tickets why do you have to include your flight bookings in, you, in your intention to give the complete account of your whereabouts. Ano pong intention nyo? Bakit nilalatag nyo itong mga whereabouts nyo during those time, including your plane tickets? Mr. Chair, Your Honor, uh, I'm just uh, showing the, the committee, Mr. Chair, and prove that uh, Wala po akong kinalaman, Mr. Chair, sa uh, pagkamatay ni Mayor Halili, Mr. Chair. Would it be correct to say, Major Albotra, that you are trying to give an impression na wala ka doon sa lugar when I am referring to the killing of Mayor Tony Halili? Would it be correct to say that it is your intention to give an impression na wala ka doon nung pinatay si Mayor Halili? Opo, Mr. Chair. That is your intention in presenting all these documents? To, to show, Mr. Chair, na ang pagka-assign ko po doon, Mr. Chair, is uh, dumaan po sa proseso, Mr. Chair, until such time po na nalify na po yung order ko at uh, na umuwi na po ako, Mr. Chair, balik sa Cebu, Mr. Chair. Major Albotra, are you aware of the defense of alibi? What do you understand about alibi? Yun pong uh, sabihin mo po na wala ka dyan, Mr. Chair. And that is your intention in giving this complete account. You, you, wish, you wish to give an impression na wala ka dun sa Tanawan City or any of the immediate vicinity when the killing incident against Mayor Tony Halili happened. Do you agree with me? Opo, opo, Mr. Chair. But you have to understand, Major Albotra, that alibi, to become admissible, it must be physically impossible for you to be in that place or in any of its immediate vicinity. Do you think that after presenting your complete whereabouts, including the plane ticket, you have established already that physical impossibility to be there in Tanawan City? Yes, Mr. Chair. Please understand, Major Albotra, that what you presented is just a plane ticket. It only shows that you are booked on that date, on that plane, on that pl flight. But it does not in any way prove at all that you really took that flight and you were in Cebu during that date. Mr. Chair, uh, I think uh, pwede naman po siguro uh, verify natin, Mr. Chair, sa airlines, Mr. Chair, if indeed the tickets were uh, boarded, Mr. Chair. Yes. Since you have started presenting this plane ticket, you might as well present also the manifesto of that flight and show to us that you're included among the passengers who took that flight. 
But nevertheless, Major Albotra, even assuming for the sake of discussion na ikaw nga ay nasa Cebu, kunyari lang, assuming lang, it does not in any way absolve you from your possible involvement in the killing incident. The way Mayor Tony Halili was murdered requires careful preparation. Grand design, which presupposes a number, if not huge number, of personalities involved. Hindi po ito kaya ng isang tao lang, ng dalawang tao lang, or perhaps kahit tatlong tao lamang. In other words, I am certain that there is a theory of conspiracy in the killing of Mayor Tony Halili. Having said that, Major Albotra, I wish to tell you na kahit mapatunayan mong nasa Cebu ka, meron tayong mga tinatawag na principal by inducement, principal by indispensable cooperation, who even without their physical presence may be equally liable to the crime because of the theory of conspiracy. Do you understand, Major? Yes, Mr. Chair. I wish to manifest as well the very spontaneous testimony of Colonel Garma about you mentioning to him, to her, and even, uh, and even trying to boast upon the fact that you are part of the killing incident against Mayor Tony Halili. The testimony is very spontaneous. It is very natural. And we do not see any reason why we should not believe that testimony of Colonel Garma. Unless Major Albotra, you will be able to prove motive against Colonel Garma. We may be inclined to reconsider this position. Can you please try to think harder? May galit po ba sa inyo si, Major, si Colonel Garma? Ano po ba ang posibleng dahilan kung bakit kayo i-implicate ni Colonel Garma amid your claim of absolute innocence? Mr. Chair, I can only think of two reasons, Mr. Chair. Unang-una po, Masyado na pong confused na confused at mabigat na po ang dinadaanan, dinadaanan ni ma'am. Kaya gusto niya na po sigurong ipasa ang burden, Mr. Chair. Pangalawa, uh, yung Barayuga murder case po, Mr. Chair, baka, baka naiipit na po si ma'am. Kaya po gusto niya na siguro pong i-divert ang atensyon ng Quadcom na ito, Mr. Chair. At saka si... Lieutenant Colonel Santi Mendoza po, Mr. Chair. Siya po ay classmate ko. Baka, baka po nagalit na rin si ma'am sa class namin, Mr. Chair. You have to realize, Major Albotra, that the testimony that was given by Colonel Garma started with the president down to the police operatives. Yours is not even a pinch of that totality. At kagaya po ng tinanong kanina ng ibang members ng quad, why of all the police officers in the entire country, why you, if she indeed is not telling the truth? Can I answer, Mr. Chair? Yes. Uh, sa totoo lang, Mr. Chair, hindi ko po talaga alam, Mr. Chair. Yun lang pong reason na yun ang naisip ko. Pero kung you try to uh, background me po doon sa Cebu, Mr. Chair, wala pong maniniwala, Mr. Chair, na ako ay ganong klaseng tao. Hindi po ako mayabang. Tahimik nga lang po ako, Mr. Chair. Yun lang po, Mr. Chair. Now, Major, I wish to invite your attention to paragraph 12 of your affidavit. Sabi mo dito, even my subsequent career promotion and assignments debunks any notion of being rewarded or incentivized 
due to any allegations of killings. Do you know for a fact that the reward system exists? Yes or no? Mr. Chair, uh, yes or no? Partly yes, po, Mr. Chair, partly no? Partly yes. Enlighten us which part of the reward system are you aware of? Mr. Chair, uh, what I am trying to uh, elaborate here, Mr. Chair, ako po ay tapon-tapon din, Mr. Chair, sa aking assignments. Uh, yung promotion ko, kita nyo naman, Mr. Chair, uh, hanggang ngayon, hindi pa ako napopromote. And kung, kung totoo, Mr. Chair, na talagang uh, party ako nung uh, pagpatay kay Mayor Halili, siguro... Siguro po maganda po yung assignment ko, Mr. Chair. Hindi po ako binalik doon sa Cebu, Mr. Chair. Tapos, this Mr. Chair. So when you speak about reward system, you are pertaining only to promotion and assignment? Is that what you mean? Opo, Mr. Chair. Then you could have used the word promotion and assignment and not reward. Why did you use the term reward what do you understand about the reward system of the war on drugs i have no personal knowledge on that mr chair i did not partake on that if you do not have a personal knowledge this representation would not mind if that is a hearsay what do you understand about the reward system because certainly this is not about promotion. This is not about a choice of assignment. Otherwise, you should have indicated that in paragraph 12. What do you understand about the reward system of the war on drugs? Your Honor, Mr. Chair, yun po ang aking ibig sabihin po, Mr. Chair. When I see, when I write here in my affidavit, the word reward, Mr. Chair, and in sin. Did you read your affidavit before you signed? Yes, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. Sino po ang gumawa ng affidavit nyo? Ah, yung lawyer ko po, Mr. Chair, in my presence. Siya po ang nag, ano, Mr. Chair? If your intention really is to pertain to promotion and choice of assignment, Major Albotra, bakit hindi yon ang ginamit mong terminologies? Mr. Chair, Your Honor, uh, yun po talaga ang ibig sabihin ng pag... pag uh, kung ikaw ay uh, marewarda ng assignment o magandang assignment or promotions po, Mr. Chair, with that, Major Albotra, you are denying the reward system which was testified to already by Colonel Garma, by Colonel Espinosa, by Colonel Santi, as well as the pronouncements made already by the then President and the other Senators all over the media. Are you denying all this? Mr. Chair, uh, there are rumors about that, Mr. Chair, but I have no direct knowledge on that, Mr. Chair. There are rumors, but you do not have direct knowledge. Now let's go back to paragraph 12. You said that you did not receive any incentive or reward. If you did not receive any, then who received the incentive and the reward? I do not have uh, any knowledge on that, Mr. Chair, Your Honor. I hope you realize also, Major Albotra, that plain denial does not have a weight in the law on evidence. You have to substantiate by positive evidence all the testimonies that you're offering to the committee. Mr. Chair, May I ask a question to Pidea? Please continue. Kanina po, Pidea, you said sometime in August, 
2018, the name of Mayor Tony Halili in the drug list has been negated already. Do you confirm this? Uh, Your Honor, it is an August 20, 2020 list, not 2018, Your Honor. Mayor Tony Halili was killed July 2, 2018. Tama po ba? Yes, Your Honor. And during that time, his name is included in the drug list. Do you confirm? Yes, Your Honor. And his name was only negated sometime in August of 2020. Yes, Your Honor. It was uh, indicated in the August 2020 list that uh, he was negated already, Your Honor. Can you please enlighten us? Ano ho ba ibig sabihin nung negated? Uh, it is neutralized, Your Honor. I mean, uh, he was uh, killed already. Negated for the case of Mayor Halili would then mean he is dead already. Yeah, yes, Your Honor. That's why it was neutralized already. Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Part of the testimony of... Uh, Colonel Garma, it was Colonel Leonardo who has the last say in the inclusion, classification of the high value target, and the exclusion of the drug personalities in the drug list. Would you know if it is really Colonel Leonardo? Uh, Your Honor, we have no indication that uh, Colonel Leonardo had any clear participation in the making of these lists. I understand that you were appointed in the PIDEA only during the present administration, tama po ba? Uh, yes, Your Honor. While the time element we're talking about with respect to the participation of Colonel Leonardo to this drug list is sometime in 2016 to 2019, tama po ba? Yes, Your Honor, correct. Is it because you are not yet in the PIDEA why you could not comment as to his participation in the drug list that everybody has been referring to? Uh, Your Honor, we have a copy of these lists but we do not have a, uh, how do you call it, a conviction, or uh, we are not sure if uh, Colonel Leonardo had any participation in the coming up of these lists. Since you were appointed in the PIDEA, uh, Director General, would you know if this drug list has ever been validated? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh, there is a process on how it is validated, and this goes up to the executive se executive secretary uh, for it to be for its validation. When I say validation, it includes it entails whether a name should be deleted, whether uh, a name should be placed on suspension uh, suspense file, or uh, a name is uh, supposed to be retained. And there was a procedure that was uh, agreed upon in 2019 yes, on how this list is going to be validated. And so this is the process that we are uh, following, Your Honor. And to be very honest about it, we have only validated 1,502 of the total of 6,042 6 names. So, to this date, PIDEA, the total number of names is still 6,000 plus. Uh, yes, Your Honor, uh, 6,042. And that out of that 6,000 plus, the ones validated is only 1,000 plus. Yes, Your Honor. So, how do you appreciate the, the genuineness of the remaining 5,000 still in the drug list? There is, a, there is a process, Your Honor. It's a very long process and which starts uh, in the barangay level and it goes up. 
uh, to the regional level and from the regional level, it goes to a remedied committee, Your Honor. This remedied committee is made up of four members, the Chief of Staff, the Chief of the P Philippine National Police, the Secretary of Interior and Local Government, and the D Director General of PDEA. The Secretariat of this committee is the is PDEA, Your Honor. And what happens is that we study the names Again, starting from the barangay, then from the barangay, it goes to municipal and city level, then up to the provincial, uh, involving all units, especially law enforcement agencies, to, to determine whether this name should be retained, delisted, or uh, to be placed on suspense file. And we recommend this, and this remedied committee, which is chaired by the Secretary of Interior and Local Government, submits this list to the Office of the Executive Secretary for a decision to be made whether the recommendations will be uh, granted or not, or approved or not, Your Honor. But sometimes, let's just say, for example, in the regional level, there are certain, uh, it takes the regional director, for example, of the PNP, the the regional director of the DILG, mostly regional directors, Your Honor. But as I gathered, there were instances in the past that uh, it was very hard to convene all of these people together to sign uh, the, validate the results of their validation, and so it was taking a long time. And that's the, that's first the reason why we were only able to uh, validate 1,502 of the 6,000 plus uh, Name, Your Honor. Given that answer, Pidea, ginagamit pa po ba ng mga law enforcement agencies yung drug list given the fact that the remaining 5,000 remain unvalidated? As far as the remedied list is concerned, Your Honor, uh, it has uh, been, I mean, it has stalled for a while because uh, we are uh, waiting for the palace to act on our uh, recommendation to continue its validation. But we are not only dependent on this list, we also have our uh, national drug information uh, system, which uh, has uh, names. Aside from that, we also continue validating in the, starting at the barangay level for possible names that are new, names that may have been cleared in the past but have, uh, how do you call it, uh, gotten back to the system of uh, the illegal drugs again. So it's a continuing process, Your Honor. And uh, again, this list goes up, up to the uh, national level. And this is the watch list that we use in going after personalities in the different uh, locations in the country, Your Honor. In other words, Pidea, even, even when we have this drug list and validated, the 5,000 of them, you come up with your own validation in cases where you s receive reports about involvement in drug operation. You come yeah. up with a separate and entirely new validation. Tama po ba yung understanding ko? Yes, Your Honor. Uh, it's a continuing process, and uh, this list is a active list, we may call it, Your Honor. Mr. Chair, I wish to continue my interpolation with Colonel Garma. Meantime, I will yield to the other members. Uh, okay, thank you, Congresswoman Luistro. Congressman uh, Paduano, you're now recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Follow-up lang to kay Captain Albutra. You mentioned about uh, two police uh, personnel that you brought to to Kalamba. Sino ngayong dalawa? Mr. Chair, uh, P.O. 3, Eugene Kalumba and P.O. Uh, 3, Eugene Kalumba, Mr. Eugene Chair. Kalumba and, and uh, is P.O. 2, uh, Miljin Mulandres, Mr. Chair. Is P.O. 2? Miljin Mulandres po, Mr. Chair. Mulandres. Yes, Active Mr. po ba sila sa duty ngayon? Si uh, Eugene Kalumba po, Mr. Chair, ay namatay na po siya, Mr. Chair. Namatay? 
Opo, Mr. Chair. What cause of his his death? Ah, uh, siya po ay namatay, Mr. Chair, sa uh, Cebu City, Mr. Chair. Cause, ang tinatanong ko, ano yung... Na, nabaril po siya, Mr. Chair. Binaril. Opo, Mr. Chair. Kailan yun? Hindi ko na po maalala, Mr. Chair, yung date, Mr. Chair. Hindi mo na malaman? Sige nga. Yung Bulandres. After po nung namatay po si Eugene, Mr. Chair, uh, mga ilang araw po, nagparilim na rin po siya, Mr. Chair. Hindi ko na po alam kung saan siya, Mr. Chair. So, nabaril din yung Bulandres? Narilim po, Mr. Chair. Narilim po siya, Mr. Chair. After na? Nung... Narilim? Narilim po, Mr. Chair. Yes, Mr. Chair. When was that? 2018, Mr. Chair. 20? Sometime on 2018 po, Mr. Chair. 2018? Yes, Mr. Chair. Pagbalik niyo sa Cebu, anong assignment niya? Sa police station 1, Mr. Chair. Under sa iyo? Opo, Mr. Chair. So, nung nabaril yung yung a certain kalumba? Kalumba ba yun? Eugene Kalumba, Mr. Chair. Oh, nung nabaril yung Kalumba, anong assignment niya? Siya po ay Station 1, Mr. Chair. Under, sa'yo? Under sa akin, pero... Under sa'yo? May... Siya sa po tali, ay, tinatanong ka kita, under sa'yo. Yes or no? Siya po ay assigned sa unit to Mr. Chair, pero operationally under control po siya ng... Dandaan na po, hindi ko maintindihan. Ano, ano, please? Si Eugene Kalumba, Mr. Chair, ay assigned sa Police Station 1, Mr. Chair. Under sa iyo. Yes, Mr. Chair, pero siya po ay operational, operationally controlled by Ma'am Garma, Mr. Chair, that time. Under sa iyo, pero operationally controlled by Colonel Garma? Yes po, Mr. Chair. Wala, wala. Mr. Chairman, wala na si Colonel Garma? Chairman? So, that was 2018 also? Opo, Mr. Chair. O kanina tinatanong kita, ba't hindi mo matandaan kung kailan siya na-assign at saka namatay? Yung exact date po ang uh, hindi ko matandaan, Mr. Chair. Eh, eh huwag kang mag-abogado dito. Sorry po, Mr. Chair. Nung tinanong kita kanina, sabi mo, hindi mo na matandaan. I'm referring po sa exact date po, Mr. Chair. Eh, hindi ko naman tinanong yung exact date eh. Well, in fact, hindi, kung hindi kita tinanong kung saan siya nakasign, hindi mo sinabi. Nandar your station 1. Eh, yung Bulandres. During the time, Mr. Chair, nung nangyari po yun kay Eugene. Sandali, tapusin mo na. After nung Kalamba, saan siya nakasign? Sa Cebu City rin po, Mr. Chair. Police station 1, Mr. Chair. Station 1 din, sa'yo din, di ba? Opo, Mr. Chair. From Kalamba, binitbit mo pabalik sa Cebu. Nung nalified po yung order namin, Mr. Chair. Kaya nga, bitbit mo. O, tapos? Tapos, uh, nag-courtesy call po kami kay Ma'am Garma. Ay, hindi, hindi ko tinatanong yung courtesy call. Ang tinatanong ko yung assignment ng Bulandres. So, namatay yung Columba under your watch sa station mo. Tapos, anong nangyari kay Bulandres? Uh, Narelieve na rin po siya, Mr. Chair. Hindi Why? Why? Hindi ko po alam, Mr. Chair, na... Station 1 Commander ka, hindi mo alam na nirelieve -re siya? You're lying! Hindi ko po maalala, Mr. Chair, kung bakit nirelieve. Nako, huwag tayo maglukuhan dito, ha? Bata mo yung dalawa, bitbit mo pa kalamba, at then bumalik ka sa Cebu, tapos mo hindi mo alam? Why di ba relieve? Ang alam ko po, Mr. Chair, uh, na-assign, bumalik po siya sa Negros, Mr. Chair. Ang tanong nga, bakit siya nirelieve? I have no idea, Mr. Saan Chair. Saan siya in Sa Negros Oriental? No idea po, Mr. Chair. Kung... Mr. Chairman, uh, itong si Albutra kanina pa ito eh. Napakasinungaling ito. Kung hindi mo mo call na, hindi sasagot ng tama. Ngayon, bata mo yung dalawa tapos hindi mo alam. Eh, yung investigation will guide to the death of Kalumba. Ba't siya pinatay? 
Hindi uh, mo rin alam. Mr. Chair, during that time po, uh, siya po ay... Hindi, tanong ko, anong motive? Ang, ang kwento po nun, Mr. Chair... Anong motive? Police ka, hindi mo alam? Bata mo, hindi mo alam? Hindi mo man ang chinek? Kung anong motive? I have no direct uh, idea talaga, Mr. Chair. Wala. Mr. Chairman, now I move to cite in contempt Captain Albotra for lying in this committee in violation of Section 11, Paragraph C of our rules. So move, Mr. Chairman. Second There's motion. a motion uh, to cite in contempt Major Albot Albotra for violating Section 11, Paragraph C of uh, the Rules of Procedure Governing Inquiries in Aid of Legislation. And uh, it was duly seconded. Are there any objections? Hearing none, the motion is approved. Comsec, uh, please take note that uh, Major Albotra is now cited in contempt by the Quad Committee. Chairman, please just, proceed. Just a rejoinder. Alam mo, Captain Albotra, I have warned you kanina pa. Hindi ko pa mabuo eh, yung story. Dahil taga Cebu ka eh. Pero you were assigned to Dumaguete, kaya mapacheck ko rin yung record mo. Pati yung dalawa mong tao. Eh, nagsisinungaling ka eh. Babalikan ko pa rin yung kalamba on the next hearing. Eh, kung hindi kita makorne, alam mo, akala mo dito, hindi kami nag-ibistiga. Akala mo dito, oh. Hindi namin alam kung paano kukunin yung mga information. Oh, you were not shouted in contempt. I will, I will not ask you anymore. In the next hearing, you better cooperate. Next, Mr. Chairman, doon na muna ako kay Captain Albutra. Ang dami pa kong alam sa iyo. May sunod-sunod pa. In the next hearing, Oh, magkakaalaman tayo. Mr. Chairman, I would just like to ask, no? Kasi napag-usapan na rin yung Albutra. Second motion. Uh, Mr. Chairman, since uh, Chairman Ako is not around, I will move to detain Captain Albutra in the premises of the House until the committee report will be adopted in the plenary. So move, Mr. Chairman. Second there is motion. a motion, as stated, duly seconded. Hearing no objection, the motion is approved. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman. Major Mr. Chairman. Altra is now cited in contempt and to be detained in the premises of the House of Representatives until the duration and termination of the committee hearing of the Quadcom and until the committee report is approved and adopted in the plenary. Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Okay, Congressman uh, DS uh, JJ uh, Suarez and then uh, Congressman Dan Fernandez. DS JJ. Thank you very much. Mr. Chair, just a point of clarification. Do we, uh, are we pertaining to the partial committee report or the final committee report in the uh, penal provision of the, sorry, in the penal part of the contempt? Or the final. What is, what is the pleasure of the movement? Final, Mr. Chairman, until the committee report will be adopted in the plenary, as I've said, Mr. Chairman. Thank okay. you. Until the... The final and complete plenary, uh, final and complete committee report. Until the committee report is approved and adopted in the plenary. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Mr. Chair. Now, Congressman Don Fernandez. Uh, Captain Alboltra, we were so lenient uh, for so many hours with you. And... Um, by citing you in contempt, at the end of the road, you will be thankful with this quadcom because it is your safety that we are after for. Sana, lagay mo sa utak mo yan. Yun lang po, Mr. Chair. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, Congressman Dan Fernandez. Now, Congressman Paduano, you may proceed. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Anyway, pinag-usapan na rin yung Region 7. Can I ask... Uh... Colonel Grijaldo to take the seat. Colonel Grijaldo.